Hey y'all, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. The girls and I headed up to Costco today, so I thought I would do another haul for you guys. Um, it's been, I think our first one was in August, July? Maybe our first one was in July. Um, and then, I'm trying to think. I know Keith ran and he just did a quick trip for us in September. And then we must not have gone at all in October, and now here we are to November? Does that seem right? That could be. So, anyway, let's get to it, and I will show you what we got today. So, the sun will be obviously a little different because we're in different months, so there's my shadow. Um, all right, and obviously not quite as full. This was a little less than $500. I want to say it was $480 something. And so we will just go ahead and get started. Um, I grabbed one, two of these rotisserie chickens. We got a bunch of bread. We needed to stack up on bread. So, man, the, sh the shadows are not going to be helpful to us, huh? Um, we got four loaves of whole wheat bread. We got some hamburger hot dog buns. And we grabbed some um, English muffins. My tripod is not cooperating with me. Um, let's see what else. Um, I'm not going to lie. We snacked on these non-dippers and the La Terra Fina spinach artichoke parmesan dip. We uh, snacked on those on the way home. Uh, we have some of the salsa here. We've got, I got two of the eight packs of tuna. And I think I'm going to take, oh, and we got Brooke some pajamas. She's been wanting some pajamas. So we got some of those. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do, take in that first layer and then come back. I'm going to focus over on this side for a minute because a lot of the cold and refrigerated freezer type of stuff is over here. Um, I really wish I liked their, their frozen vegetables more, but this was the only one I could find that were actually, right, is this? Did I grab the wrong thing? I might have grabbed the wrong thing. I did. I had meant to grab, I thought these were... I thought these were individual freezer steam bags, but they're not. So this is not what I meant to get. Um, I meant to get the individual freezer steam bags. So that's a bummer. I'll have to come up with something that uses, at least it has the, the resealable thing. So there's that, but that, that's a bummer. Uh, we got Keith's lettuce for his lunch sandwiches. We have, let's see, oh, I think I mentioned the salsa already. Um, let's see, we've got back here, have some of the Kirkland bacon. Uh, oh, this is so hard. Things are falling out. Okay. Um, we have a big, I think this is a six pound bag of pears. The girls are very into pears right now. We have two of the double bags of shredded cheddar and then one of the double bags of mozzarella. And we've got a two pound block of Colby Jack. We have this three, what is this? So it's the three packages, 14 ounces each of uh, with an roasted turkey breast. Those work really great for um, obviously sandwiches, but also I like them really well for um, like homemade Lunchables because it's kind of like thick, um, thick turkey that works really well on a cracker. Then we've got some cucumbers. The girls really love these. Um, I'm a sucker and let the girls get some brownie bites. We have some Greek yogurt here and some cottage cheese here. Popcorn chicken was $4 off, so I grabbed a bag of that. I think we've got a decent amount in the fridge, but $4 off of that seemed like a great deal, so I went for it. Then we have some freezer biscuits. These are the Grands, Pillsbury Grands biscuits. And down there we have a veggie tray. Those are so awesome. You don't have to do obviously do any of the cutting and chopping. And if I have one of those sitting on the counter, the girls will just, it, well, all five, four of us will just go to town on it. Um, we have a gallon of milk. Um, just because we're getting ready for milk, we don't always get it at Costco because we're not there that often and we go through milk faster than that. I don't remember if I mentioned the two eight packs of tuna. We have a bag of Chex Mix back here. We have two bags, I'm trying to stay out of shadow, two bags of trail mix, and I'm going to, oh, and I think I've got some crispy onions because we're getting close to green bean casserole season. 
And I think that is everything over here. Oh, I have a package of tortellini here. And there's some stuff around here. We have a package of the tortelloni. Love those. That is such a great thing for um, quick meals. Throw that and some Alfredo or some uh, marinara sauce, and you're good to go. All right, now we're over to this side. Um, and I think I've got a couple of refrigerated things, but it should be okay. Let's see. I'm trying to figure out the best way to set up so I'm not in making a shadow. So, Rookie requested some pecans. She likes to snack on those, and I'm sure we can find a way to use those when we get to be like holiday baking time and stuff like that. We needed some coffee, so we just got the Kirkland um, Colombian coffee. We like that. I've had luck with that so far. Um, I am a fan of these fig bars, so I grabbed these for me. Um, they're really they're really good, actually. I, I like those a lot. I kind of like Fig Newtons. I also grabbed some of these Balanced Breaks. It's 12 of them in this box. And I thought those were good for, like, days when Brooke stays after school for, like, art club or things like that. They always tell them to bring a snack, and I thought that's easy enough to throw in her in her bag or for Keith to take with him to make sure he's got a snack or sometimes I'm not so great at remembering to eat lunch and so I can at least have that to start with and then build on it from there. So I thought those I wanted to try. Let's see. Up next we grabbed a big thing of crescent rolls. Uh, we have a whole bunch of little smokies in the fridge so I'm going to make a bunch of little pigs in a blankets and have them on hand for lunches for the next couple weeks. We were out of butter, and really, you know what, I probably should have even grabbed two of these because we use a decent amount of butter. Um, then, box of goldfish. This is another one. Probably could have gotten two, but we grabbed one goldfish. We've got some diced peaches and a cherry mixed fruit and fruit juice. I'm pretty picky about that. So that works for lunches or snacks got some um, diced tomatoes for in the pantry. Berkey's been on a guacamole kick, so those are for lunches. They're little individual, um, little 12 packs of guacamole for in lunches. Here I've got, I wanted to stock up on some chicken stock, have that in the pantry. This was intriguing. I'm typically not a, a, a cereal person, but um, this had like a decent amount of protein, some good fiber, brown sugar sounds like that would be pretty good. So I'm, I'm going to try these and see, or if like mix that with some yogurt or something, I could see that being pretty good. Um, Keith likes to grab these for quick snacks, and the girls do too, so we grabbed a package of those. Two applesauce pouches, um, because we go through those pretty quick. I like, um, sometimes I'll get uh, heartburn for some, whatever reason, this, uh, this bat that for whatever reason this will really kick that heartburn to the curb so that uh, we got Brookie some leggings these are soft cozy brushed leggings um, so we'll see because it's getting colder we gotta cover up our legs um, we threw sheet a bone haha <laughs> and got him some treats so he's got some oops, I'm gonna record there we got him the four uh, Nyla bones, so we'll see. They're in different flavors. There's like beef, chicken, bacon and cheese, and peanut butter. I think I'm going to bake up a, a pumpkin bread tonight even because that looks really good. But I saw you could do quick bread, pancakes, cookies. You could do a bunch of different things with this mix. There's four of them in there, so I thought that looked pretty yummy. And then Ritz for our homemade... Lunchables. So we eat a lot of those in our lunches and snacks and things. So that is everything. So that is, oh, that sun is just in the worst spot right now. That is our our latest Costco haul. That, like I said, it was about 480 something dollars for that. Um, I was shopping alone with the two girls and so I wasn't incredibly focused. I kind of looked at a list. I kind of, I, I'm sure I'm going to later go, oh man, I really needed to get this. But I did the best I could on a Saturday. Um, Costco was crazy. So I did the best I could with the two girls. So 
that is all that. Um, and I did want to ask y'all a question. I did actually film our August, maybe, um, haul. I just never posted it. So let me know in the comments uh, if you would like to see the September one. August, the August haul. I know obviously it's outdated and, and stuff at this point, but um, I could throw that up real easy if that's something that you all still want to see. And the other thing is I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make a blog post and I will itemize everything out here, what I got and the price, if that's helpful. So um, if you're looking for that, I'll link it in the description or you can head to tiredmommytales.com and just search in the sidebar. There's a search box and search for Costco. So that is our haul for this time. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it's somewhat helpful. If you have any suggestions or you want to tell me what I definitely don't want to pass up next time, I would love to see that. Um, so go ahead and like, subscribe, leave me some suggestions, do all the YouTube things, and I will see you next time. Bye.